Hello everyone! Welcome to McFizzle's Hardcore Survival World, Season 5, Between the Streams 10 and 11. And, yep, just doing the same old thing in Fast Forward. It looks like I'm brewing some uh, potions for uh, underwater breathing. So this means that I'm going up to the surface to collect some dirt from the riverbed because um, I'm, I guess I'm getting to the end of the the grass section around the giant hole and I keep running out of dirt so I thought this was the best way to collect dirt quickly was to go up and just dig it out of the bottom of the riverbed since it's just doing nothing there so I just that's what I've been doing and the best way to do that is get some underwater breathing so you don't have to worry about it for eight minutes the only problem is it the the blocks tend to float to the surface so you have to go up and um, get the, the the items every now and again and I've changed sort of my uh, river bed uh, walls, banks, I don't know how you describe it, underneath the water where the walls are. I was going to just have it going down sort of like a, in two blocks and then going out so it was gradually but then I don't know I just thought after a certain point it just drops off and nobody, I don't really, doesn't really bother me. And I think like the more room there's in the river the more um, you know, the more chance I think that um, the squids will spawn in there. So I think I go down about four blocks, uh, sort of two blocks and then out one block and then another two blocks and then just down as far as the river goes or as far as I've uh, dug. And then um, just digging up any dirt, you know, or sand that I find because I can use that for concrete. And the gravel, I don't know, it just seems to, because I've got um, Fortune, it just seems to turn straight into um, Flint, which is absolutely useless. So, But my shovel's really good, so I can, I can live without gravel for a, for a little while. So yeah, the, the riverbed's uh, getting dug out. So I sort of found this really, this, um, where, I, where I sort of ended my track, there was like a, a curve around and there was like a, a big bit of land that sort of was coming off the track, which I just thought, oh, I might as well dig that out. So, and then that sort of become the starting point of the, of the digging and I'm digging back towards the base, just, uh, digging out the the sides of the river and uh, yeah it's, it's, it's providing me all my dirt needs without having to go looking that far or digging up the landscape that much which I don't I don't really like I like trying to keep the the surface as, as just as it was when it spawned in you know but um, I don't do a lot of I don't do a lot of um, terraforming. I just like to leave it the way it is. But uh, so now I'm going back down and I'm just doing around the edge of the the grass. I think see where where when we get to the sand, you can see. So I've got one more sort of uh, one more time around the big square. And that'll be 16 blocks, and then from the from the walls of the giant hole, and then I go one block, and then I'm going to start doing the um, the staircase out, uh, going up a light up a level. But I'm not sure if I'm going to just have what I've sort of decided now is I'm going to have the grass in the middle. Then I'm going to have a sort of a wood area. So, and then at the very top there'll be another 16 block thing which I don't know if it'll be grass or if it'll be or what but um, that's the plan but uh, I don't really need um, 
to dig that out right now. I can dig that out later. Um, well, I, I want the, the grass and stuff so I can grow, you know, get my animals down here. And then I think a lot of the a lot of the stuff will be on the um, the wooden stuff. So I think I'm going to move my um, ender portal and um, move a bunch of the, the stuff that's on there just so it's all grass. Um, but yeah, I've had some I've had some other ideas what to do in here. So I'm off to the village here. What am I doing here? Okay, I'm um, getting some pumpkins. This is the uh, the garden bed for my uh, potato farm because I'd say one of my villagers needed potatoes to trade. It was a higher trade value than the um, pumpkins. So pumpkins seem to be first level uh, trading for the, the villagers. And so, yeah, I'm just alternating between the doing the grass, doing the villagers, grinding some XP, going up a level. So I'm doing a bit of each. And it's like the villagers, you know, the dirt that going around the the grass pit might mean going up and collecting dirt. Doing the village might be going up and trying to get uh, a name tag so I can name my villagers and. That sort of stuff. I'm trying to get some uh, watermelon seeds off these merchants, but they've given me nothing. I think there's one guy that had cactuses, that well, cacti, that would have been useful. But I didn't want to stick, keep him around just for that, so I murdered him. <laughs> and then there was that guy had hut packed ice, I think, which would have been nice, but again, not worth. I don't really need it at the moment, so. I just got rid of them with extreme prejudice. And so yeah, this is me digging out the yeah, the last bit around the edge of the the grass part. So yeah, there's the murdering of the merchant and the his uh llamas. <laughs> The murdering of the merchant and his llamas. And so, again, we're planting some pumpkins, I'd say. And I forgot my hoe, so I had to go all the way back, grab the hoe, go all the way back, plant the uh, pumpkins, not pumpkins, potatoes. And then I could start uh, trading my potatoes with uh, Farmer Joe. Um... I've so far I've in this uh I've got three farmers that are named now. I've got Farmer Bob. He was my first farmer. Farmer Joe is the second farmer. The new one is Farmer Fred. And the last one is uh Farmer Maggie. Uh but she hasn't been named yet. And I it was just it just it just occurred to me that the villagers actually don't have genders. They're just sort of any two can breed together so they're sort of uh, is that asexual I believe so I just name them whatever I want and once I then I can start once I've got my four farmers named and maxed I can start getting a um, cleric or uh, a librarian stuff like that So yeah, back to the digging of the dirt, back to the riverbed. Gets quite deep uh, at this section because I start, I I've finished leveling out around the edges, and then I just start digging wherever there's dirt on the ground, and it, sometimes it goes quite deep. And I'm starting to see a bit more um, uh, um, squid spawning, like they seem to be spawning in a little bit more, which is good. So 
I'm going to leave, wait until I have like a stack of um, ink sacks and then I'll do a big um, bunch of cement up and then hopefully we get up pretty close to the roof I think with the giant hole. So yeah, this is under, I dig out all the dirt under the water and found a little, sort of dug a cave in, so I filled that in and now, yeah, just digging out the the riverbed for dirt. And uh, yeah, it's very quickly had enough dirt for what I needed, so but you can see how dark it gets down there, and I realised it was actually because it was night time. But even still, it's quite dark. So that's how deep I'm, I've gotten. I guess that's what you use those um, Nautilus shells for. I think so. You can, if you combine them together, you make a little thing that can lights up underwater, so you can see better. But uh, I haven't done that yet. I've caught a few Nautilus shells fishing for name tags, so. So yeah, this is the last bit of the grass platform, which is pretty momentous. Took a lot of digging to get this much uh, space down here. So yeah, eventually, I think that'll be mostly just farm farming. I like all of, you know, for animals, but most of the, um, like I've got my little chicken, you know, battery chicken pen where the chickens provide the eggs. I've got enough room that I can almost go two trees wide, which is good. Uh, I don't know if a jungle tree would grow in there, but uh, I'm planning on doing um, like stadium style seating with different colors around the, the border of the um, the grass section, which I think will look cool, but we've got the um, the big spawner in the corner, spawner in the corner, and we've got to uh, sort of allow for that. But that's sort of become like I quite like that now that I've just got somewhere to put all of my um, cobble. So I'd say my actual storage room is going to be around there. Maybe it'll probably be up the top on the um, you know on one of the sides of it it's hard to describe it I it's on the left hand side of the the thing up the top that's where the storage room is going to be because the uh, vegetable farms is going to be around the villager um, the villager farm so it's going to be that's going to be good because I can I can hopefully go all the way around the 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 villager spawner and then um, I can go up l levels if I have to so I can have like a multi-leveled garden um, and I might even move my uh, sugar cane over there but I think I will eventually make a sugar cane. Um, uh, you know, one of those zero tick sugar cane farms because they just make so much sugar cane and I do use a lot of it but I remember a bit I'm not as I'm not as in much as not in as much of a rush with the the villagers like I like maxing them out so I've got all of their things and then I don't have to try and it's good having the XP farm because I don't have to worry about the XP and so now I'm filling in, I thought about moving the staircase just going directly off the grass, um, you know, but um, I don't know, I sort of liked having a, f a few blocks down on the on the flat and then the staircase and then a few more blocks up the top. So it'll be, that'll all be wood, so that'll be about 16 blocks wide of wood. And then up the top, um, I'm not sure what it'll be up the top yet. So yeah, I'm just filling in all of this with cobble. So I dug it all out and now I'm filling it all back in with cobble.
classic McFizzle uh, hardcore survival world stuff super repetitive stuff that I end up just undoing <laughs> Alright, what's happening now? Back to the village. So yeah, this is me trying to get Farmer Bob up, uh, Farmer Joe up to up to max level. So he wants potatoes and pumpkins. I get some cakes out of him too, I think. So yeah, I've maxed him out. He gives me some cookies. So I'm set for food. I've got um, at the moment I'm having uh, pumpkin pies but I've got heaps of cookies and now I've got cakes so I'm, I'm not so worried about uh, cows and stuff because I've just got yeah I've got so much food it's awesome you just have to be a bit more wary of my health bar you know of the food bar just to make sure it, like the steak lasts a bit longer but I found in bedrock like the food goes you know the you have to look at your food bar a bit, you, you tend to get hungry quicker so it doesn't really matter what food you eat as much, like as before like steak you'd, you'd, and pork chops you'd last for ages whereas now you don't, it doesn't really matter what you eat, it sort of feels like it's about the same anyway so I'm going to start going through all my pumpkin pies and then get into the cookies I think I've got bread, lots of bread So yeah, I've got to move all of these lights up a couple of blocks and it's like I've got to try and keep everything well lit. But there's so much space, like I'm not sure how I'm going to um, light it all up so it looks good. I sort of, it doesn't bother me that the little torches everywhere for now, but eventually I might... Um, Uh, change what the lighting is especially on the I don't know what I'm going to do on the stairs like um, I think I'll just have random just blocks with torches on them I guess or lanterns one of the villagers g gives you lanterns as one of his um, one of his trading items so and it's it's actually quite a high level one so you get lots of XP for doing it and um, so I'd say after that happens I'll start using lanterns a lot more. I thought about having just la lanterns lighting the whole place and just having like heaps of lanterns hanging from the ceiling but uh, I don't think it'll work with the with the um, with the trees. So yeah I think uh, I can start trading pumpkins with Joe You can see I'm filling up that all the areas around the um, the spawner with chests full of cobble. I need to put some staircases in there to just that's bugging me that I have to jump up into the spawner. That spawner has been so productive for me. I think I'm gonna uh, if I don't have that already, I'm gonna be very close to getting that power. Uh, bow that you need f to f fight the ender dragon uh, I think once I get the storage room set up once I get the storage room set up I'll start looking for uh, collecting the equipment that I need to fight the ender dragon uh, I only have to last until episode 20 with iron armor so I can start um, trying to get enchanting the diamonds armor you know, for that, but I don't, I, I don't think I'm going to be fighting the Ender Dragon before episode 20. Uh, so, because they're the, they're my first goals really in this this season is to fight the Ender Dragon and fight the Wither. I want to get those out of the way early, and then um, we'll take it from there. So yeah, see, I got some cakes. I got five cakes. It's awesome. And he's maxed out and so when it's paused there I'm writing down all of the um, 
the what the villagers have to trade into uh, my notes so I don't have to go running around asking each villager and checking what he has I've got a list so that's why I'm naming them so I can go into my notes and go oh, I want this I need to talk to Joe for that so I can just go and talk to Joe and get get that because after a while especially when you get heaps of villagers like there's just so many and they all look the same so you sort of have to give them I just thought that was the easiest way was give them all a name So at the moment I've got three with names. And I've got four farmers all together. Once they're done, I'll probably do clerics. I get uh, librarians for the mending would be good because um, uh, basically with fishing and f and the the XP grinder and the villagers, I've I have lots of XP. Like I I'm getting up to you know level 30 very frequently okay so this is me fishing for uh, name tags um, so yeah you can see I got a few uh, a few squid I end up getting a bunch of fishing rods like I think in this one I get another fishing rod with mending and lure 3 on it so I combine that with this one so my fishing rod has Lure three, um, whatever it is from luck of the uh, luck of the sea three, and mending one, and I'm breaking I think so it's it's a beast that pickaxe that fishing rod is a beast it is the master baiter. I'm gonna have to name it, but it takes so long to catch a. Uh, I really want I've got to get a name tag for my other farmer. There's two there's two cats that I want to name. And I've got, um, you know, uh, a fishing rod to name, and you know, I haven't got Jess of the Cow yet. So there's there's heaps of, um, yeah, I need heaps of name tags. I need like five name tags, but it takes me like, you see here, it takes me like, uh, you know, 45 minutes to catch one name tag. But. Once I combine the two with mending, like I'm set for fishing rods, and I've, I've catch another two, so I've got an, a backup awesome fishing rod as well. So it's good. All right, we're in the last chunk. It's surprising how much you know is going on in this episode. Like uh, even though it's it's monotonous, like I think there's lots of you know, you can definitely see the progress a lot. Like, I like seeing the progress on the half an hour things. And it's a lot less editing. And you just fast forward the whole thing. So yeah, you see, um, I go through once, knock down all of the torches, put the block where the torches are, then go back along, put a block on the, to put a torch on those blocks and then fill in the rest and then do that. So I've done three of the four sides around the grass section I'm on the last section now um, at the end of this episode uh, so that's good then I can start um, putting up the wood I think I'm gonna have a, a like a wooden slab of dark oak around the grass and then uh, probably wood um, the dark, yeah, the wood will just be whatever. So um, I'd say it's going to be oak and birch first, and then I'll have to go around looking. I'm going to have to measure everything as well to see how far it is, and it all doesn't matter. I'll I'll do it all later. So this is me trying to get a name tag. I've got so many fish. Got a couple more squid. Got a bunch of nautilus shells, some water bottles, a few uh, enchanted books, a couple of enchanted um, fishing rods, some sticks, some leather, some rotten flesh. Uh, yeah, a bunch of different fish. The odd uh, piece of armor. So yeah, 
and you can see the fishing rod now it's uh, got mending on it just does not go down like uh, whenever I use the fishing rod it gets the XP it needs to stay at 100% uh, uh, durability so it's awesome and I think the backup fishing rod is going to be even better so it's, it's looking I'm looking pretty good for fishing at the moment I'll eventually catch one here. There he goes. And so this is me naming Farmer Fred. And then we get to, to finally uh, name him and start working on his uh, levels. Keep collecting my um, sugar cane. So I'm going to have to start making some bookcases for the... Um, librarians eventually so I'll probably keep making librarians until I get mending and then I don't know if I need any more after that but anyway that brings us to another episode of Between the Streams episode 10 and 11 now I'll hopefully see you tomorrow uh, for an actual episode stream so thanks for watching I'll see you later